Hey everybody, Kirk Yumi here from LearningGolf.tv. Taking a look at Bryson DeChambeau's great golf swing here in a slow motion view. And well, I wanna show you just a couple simple things. Bryson also recently wrote an article on golf.com that I linked below in the description. I think it's fantastic how he has simplified his golf swing and it very, very closely parallels uh, what I'm teaching with my setup for impact golf swing. Uh, you can also see uh, Bryson uses some of the same terminology to describe his own swing, uh, trying to keep it as simple as he possibly can. So you can see Bryson setting up for impact here with his club uh, on the same plane as his right arm. You can see how the green line goes through up to about the elbow of his right arm. And then you'll see coming into impact how he's on that same plane. Bryson also talks about holding in the article about holding the club in the palm of his hands, which gives a more stable uh, grip position. And this is also something I teach in my system. I want you to watch as he takes it back. It's a simple uh, through rotating the hips and upper torso. Uh, the club goes back perfectly on plane. Uh, this is something uh, that really, really makes it easy to repeat the golf swing. Look at this club on the plane. Typically the tour players and people set up conventionally uh, will have the club way up here and they're set up on a plane, something like that. And then they make impact on a totally different plane. The, the simplicity here is obvious and I think you'll see coming up it's perfect, hands are right there on plane, clubs right towards the target, uh, club face is totally neutral. And you can see as the change of direction started with the hips and from the ground up, uh, you can see how he's pushing off with uh, the right foot, using the ground forces to create speed. And this is something that people trying to copy Mo uh, and uh, you know, single plane golfers are typically uh, not being instructed to use their body or the lower body to create speed, and that's unfortunate. And that's why uh, very many of them copying Mo are losing a lot of distance because they're not using the feet properly. They're actually hitting into a bent uh, left knee, which you'll see Bryson does not uh, when I do the face on video analysis. So if I want you to see the plane, the club's on now. Again, it's the same plane that he set up on, and the spine angle also, if you look at the green line there, uh, it's also exactly as he started. I mean, it couldn't be any simpler uh, than this. And uh, he also uh, talks a little bit in the article uh, about the flat wrist set up top of swing, uh, obviously guaranteeing a square club face through impact. You watch the release uh, here right up the plane. Uh, it really uh, doesn't get any simpler than this. And uh, Bryson, I think, is a player that uh, any of you out there can more easily copy his golf swing than anyone else's. And although I don't recommend exactly trying to copy anyone's swing, you can uh, customize this concept to fit your own needs and your own experiences. And I allow you to do this on my website simply uh, by allowing you to customize grip positions, uh, distance from the ball, and uh, other factors that will make it easy for you to convert. In many cases, people hit the ball better their first time out to the range. As you can see here on my YouTube channel, it's a lot of the comments or the website, the testimonials. There is a free email series available at learninggolf.tv and very inexpensive memberships where I will provide feedback. Uh, you can send in videos through V1 as part of the membership. I think you'll see uh, this service costs uh, probably about 10 to 15 percent of what most people are charging. Uh, so give it a Give it a try today. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And check out the link to Bryson's article uh, below in the description. Also, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube and like this video. Thank you very much and have a great day.